Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. I'm Aria. And I'm Daisy. And, and we're, we're the Scripture, Scripture Explorers. James, what are you doing? I'm pretending to be a king. Kings get to tell everyone what to do, and they don't have to do anything. Are all kings like that? Yeah, I think so. Right, Mormon? Well, there are some kings that are mean and nasty like King Noah. We'll learn more about him another day. But there are some kings, like King Benjamin, who aren't like that at all. What was King Benjamin like? King Benjamin was a Nephite king, but he was also a prophet. He loved his people and worked very hard to make sure that they were happy and taken care of. His father's name was Mosiah, and his father was a righteous king who had taught him to make good choices and listen to what Heavenly Father wanted. King Benjamin also had several sons. One of them was also named Mosiah. So he had the same name as his grandpa? He did, and he was king of the Nephites after Benjamin. We'll learn more about Mosiah next week. Now King Benjamin had lived a long and good life. He knew he wouldn't be king for very much longer, and he wanted to talk to his people before he died. So he told them all to gather and hear him speak. It was kind of like a general conference. Everyone came to see the prophet and hear what he had to tell them. But there were so many people that he couldn't just stand up in front of them. He built a tower so that he could be seen and heard by as many of the people as possible. The people knew that they might be there a long time, so they brought tents to set up, and they set them to face where King Benjamin would stand. What did he teach them? He taught them so many things, but one thing that he talked about a lot was service. Service is when we help other people. There are a lot of bad kings who are mean. They throw people in jail, and they take their money, and they let them hurt each other. King Benjamin reminded the Nephites that he had never done these things, and that they shouldn't do these things. And then he taught them one of the most important lessons. He said, I tell you these things that ye may learn wisdom, that ye may learn that when ye are in the service of your fellow beings, ye are only in the service of your God. What does that mean? It means that when we help other people, we aren't only serving them, we are serving Heavenly Father too. Did he teach them more? He taught the Nephites about Jesus. He taught them that he would come and be born to Mary, and that he would die for us so that we could live again. He taught them a lot of things. He taught all this and even more. We'll talk more about what he taught them next time.